are perception and creation related? Actually, they are the same. This is one of the laws that says perception is equal to creation. Why is that? Because there is actually no creation. There is only perception. The potential is converted into a perception and that is all is experienced. It is not that if somebody is perceiving something, a creation takes place and then it is experienced. No, there is no creation, only perception. So that is why we say whatever is experienced is that which is being perceived by the senses. Actually, senses are simply precipitating the potential into something more meaningful. The senses are limiting the potential into one possibility, only one possibility. And we say senses, but it, the whole structure is involved here. The whole structure is doing that and therefore they are both same. In the waking state, it will be very difficult to get a evidence of this. But in the dreaming state and in the projected state, you will get a direct experience of it. This is indeed possible. In my practices, I could see that seed is already plant, plant is already tree because the experience is there all these stages. Perception is enabling one slice in a specific sequence. Is it right? Yes, that, that statement that the experience is one slice at a time, that much is correct. So, but it is not good to assume that all the stages of the plant and the tree are already present. The potential is present. The, the plant and the tree are not present somewhere. They do not exist. But it appears that the experience is happening one event at a time. And that is necessary for it to be meaningful. That is why the possibility becomes one event at a time. So that it can be meaningful. If all of it appeared at once, there won't be any meaning in that. So the seed is not becoming a plant and the plant is not becoming a tree. There is no movement there. The mind is moving. We say like this. The mind is moving. Objects are not moving. Why? Because there are no objects. It is all illusion. Nothing needs to be there for there to be an illusion. Except the possibility for the illusion. It seems all paths show up one by one after Gyan Marg also. Please say something of depth. I have a very little experience of all the paths showing up. But uh, there is some possibility there that you will experience. The, especially the Kundalini path can be experienced directly after the knowledge because of the enormous change that happens in the mind in all the layers that shows up and uh, when the evolution speeds up which can happen in few lifetimes the occult can manifest powers can manifest that is possible we also know about the service that there remains nothing to do except service even the actions that we take for survival they become service of the body it is seen like this because I have nothing to do. I am not the doer. So the devotion also happens because the surrender happens because there is nothing to achieve now. So there is a possibility that these things will uh, take place. But nothing of extreme should happen. That is my view. It should not become extreme like they do in the other paths. And it should not be permanent. So flavors of one path, they appear in the other paths. It is possible, yes. Like there is a lot of devotion in occult also towards the deities and so on. There is a lot of devotion in the path of action, service also, especially towards the Guru. So many paths, they bleed into other paths. It is possible. I have never seen a path that is 100% pure. By pure, I mean like very original. Not possible. You can see that in devotion, they use all the occult methods to please their gods and goddesses. They even construct the temples which were Purely occult. And in the occult you will find devotion. And in the occult you will find knowledge. So when all these paths come together, perfection is achieved. This is said by many masters that if you are sticking to one path, it is like uh, a beginner's phase. And then you realize that when your practice is complete, it is actually including the essentials from many paths. That does not mean that you leave the path of knowledge and join something else because now you need to take experience of all the paths. No, your experience will include the essential from all the paths. That is the bottom line. 
on the part of knowledge once you know once the knowledge is gained there is no quarrel among the paths who is quarreling about my path is better than your path my deity is better than your deity and my god is bigger than your god these ignorant people those who have knowledge they, they can see that all other paths they lead to the path of knowledge and the path of knowledge is the last i see that opposites can also be lived simultaneously what should we what do you call opposites being together is simply non duality that is how the whole existence is it is non dual so the mind does this division of what is awareness and what is non awareness that is artificial in the existence there is everything so once you reach that kind of knowledge of non duality then nothing matters really because you understand that everything will be presented to you even if you don't have any knowledge you will find that your experience is always like this is a play of opposites sometimes there is joy sometimes there is suffering sometimes there is good health sometimes there is bad health they oscillate for an ignorant person the oscillation is predetermined and it goes in extremes and those in knowledge oscillations the amplitude will decrease but there will be this kind of duality will be present and the duality is only illusion created by the mind so when this illusion is destroyed you will see everything is present at the same time you will find there is little suffering in the happiness and you will find there is little satisfaction in the suffering the positive side of the suffering will present to you also and the negative side of happiness will be presented to you also the good and bad will become one you will see that there is nothing really good and nothing really bad so the non dual aspect will start showing up as the awareness goes up and awareness is mostly like being drunk it is it is not your normal alert state where your your senses are totally focused on survival related activity of the lower layers your attention has gone up in the higher layers and the person is a little bit ungrounded you will find you can see that his eyes are little bit above the normal state if you look at a normal person ordinary person the eyes are situated in the center eyes means the black part but uh, those who are intoxicated with any kind of spiritual practice their eyes are situated half way and that is not really a sign of somebody who is awakened or somebody who has progressed because alcoholics also have that kind of symptom drug addicts so it, it you should be careful when you judge people like this they speak from their heart all the time whatever they speak is true even when they joke there is a teaching in the joke so all these qualities should be taken into account and then you will find that they are high up there they are always high so that is one thing you will you will see they prefer not to talk solitary life and they don't do that which ordinary people do so they are labeled as crazy they behave like a drunk person always smiling laughing dancing whatever doing anything that is not considered social we find many people like this in india and uh, even the bigger the biggest mahatmas were labeled crazy and people used to throw stones on them <laughs> because that's what people do when they see a dissimilarity they become afraid in liking it is seen dislike will soon arrive don't know how but it appears in the positive the universe will show you the glimpse of negative which is bound to arrive yes the pendulum swings this is the law law of opposites law of duality and in the negative you will see a teaching or something positive something bad happens to you immediately you will recognize the importance of it which which an ignorant person will never recognize their whole attention is on the bad thing that has happened how to get rid of it but those who have attention on the higher layers they can see the wholeness of it and the whole existence is like this like i said whole of our lives are like this we have torn the non duality into duality and we have taken it to the extreme now we are unaware of the true nature of the existence which is my true nature it is all inclusive it is all embracing a mind that is infected by ignorance 
will only see that which it wants to see. Nothing else will be seen. But a pure mind will see everything at cultivate equanimity because you will become like that naturally. This that that is the consequence of knowledge, not a practice. Like the consequence of eating sugar is that your mouth will become sweet. The consequence of knowledge is that you will become equanimous, wise, blissful. And if I don't see this happening, that means the knowledge was not taken. That means there is some kind of mental affliction going on. That is why the person is busy doing something. The only thing one should be busy in after getting knowledge is knowledge dissemination. And that also is taken on. It is not really needed. It is also a extra action, extra karma that is taken on. We can drop that also. Usually the gurus, when they find their successor, the true successor, they drop it. They go and live an ordinary life after that. So the awareness is the important part. Now, other people should not worry that, oh no, I am not experiencing non-duality now. I am not equanimous now. I am not blissful. Don't worry about these things. You will never get them. There is no way to get there. They, because they are a consequence of knowledge. So focus on knowledge. See why you have doubts about the knowledge. Did you touch the hot pan or not? Because who will <laughs> keep touching the hot pan after touching it once? That means the heat was not felt. When it was touched, it was just touched for a half a second. So nothing was felt. Embrace the knowledge. Get deep into the knowledge. And live in the knowledge. Submerge in the knowledge. That's all you need to do. And the rest will happen. That's why no practices are given. Like he was asking, how to find my impurity? Why do you want to find the impurity? The only impurity you have is ignorance. Remove it and the rest will be removed. As soon as there is awareness, as soon as there is knowledge, will any impurity remain in you? Never. For example, you are eating a poisonous fruit every day without knowing that it is poisonous. No knowledge, you are ignorant. And soon your health will go down and all the diseases will start arriving and your medical bills will go up. And somebody tells you, a doctor or somebody, that look, the fruit you are eating is poisonous. Don't eat that. Eat something good. There is the knowledge. These are the words of a guru. And how much time you will take to drop that fruit? No time. How to find your impurity? Get the knowledge. As soon as it is told that this is your ignorance, it should be dropped immediately. Who will cling to their ignorance? Yes, there are certain mental afflictions, mental disorders, where the person will not listen to the guru, won't be able to listen to the guru because they think they are the guru, they know everything. So in that case, the progress will stop. No, nothing can be done. But those who are obedient, those who are surrendered to the guru, immediately they will drop it. I have seen it with my own eyes. So those who cannot handle this thing, direct uh, surgery of their mind, for them we have the program. Go step by step. Here the qualities of the students are very important. The quality of surrender, discipline, obedience. It is very difficult to obey a person whom you have never met, whom you have never seen. Only you can you listen to their voice only or you read only the books written by them. It is very difficult to surrender to such a person. But once you have concluded that, no, this person knows, this person has the best intention for me, there the surrender should happen. There the Guru's wish is your command. Now the progress will happen very fast. Otherwise go step by step. Because you don't know the Guru, you should go step by step. Or you find somebody else. That is the best thing. So the path of knowledge is very special actually. That if you are struggling here, if you are doing effort here, that means you are not made for this path. It should be like fish in the water. So the knowledge does not take struggle. The knowledge does not take any effort. Few minutes, that's all it takes. Just listening will give you all the knowledge. Listen carefully. Once it is proven to you, hey, this is truth. Abide in that. Should not take any effort. So the Guru is looking for these people and those who are still struggling, they are left. Their time has not come. Like we say, the time is not ripe for them. So the Guru is most interested in the fish. Those who cannot swim in the water of knowledge, we let them sit on the shore for a while. Once, the, once Mother Nature does her job, they will be ready for 
taking a dive. There are some potential cases on which I like to work because I also learn. But, but there are many hopeless cases also. So they are left alone for a while. That can be many years or many lifetimes also. So they should go and join some other place. They should find some other path. Should not sit here. It has to be effortless. It is like singing. You can know all the techniques and you have all the best instruments and the best teacher. But if there is no natural talent, then the song is not going to sound good. You can copy somebody. That's all you can do. There won't be any natural sweetness in your voice. Anybody can recognize this thing. Even an ordinary person can recognize who is a trained singer and who is a natural artist. Same way, if the qualities are not present, it is all struggle and we should wait.